So thank you, Chair, for the great uh, introduction. So again, uh, my name is Sok Liep Cheng. So I'm a medical biologist and also researcher from the Medical Biology Laboratory of the Institute Pasteur in Cambodia. So uh, allow me to introduce you a little bit of the Medical Biology Laboratory. So our laboratory is uh, quite unique because we have uh, four uh, main activity uh, cover the four mission of the Institute Pasta in Cambodia. So we have uh, services activity, we have uh, training activity, also public health activity, and also research activity. So uh, service activity as our laboratory also provide uh, medical laboratory services to the, to the public. So we also work with uh, private and uh, public uh, uh, laboratory and uh, hospital in, in Cambodia. Um, public activity because uh, our laboratory also provide um, voluntary counseling and uh, free HIV testing to, to the public in order to support the uh, HIV program of the Ministry of Health. And for training, so every year our laboratory also receive uh, a lot of students uh, to train mainly for uh, medical laboratory uh, technician, uh, pharmacists, and also medical uh, biology. And last but not least is uh, research activity. So uh, recently, uh, uh, the bacteriology and antibiotic resistant group uh, was created and I'm also coordinated uh, this, this group. So uh, our research activity was mainly focused on uh, um, bacteriology for um, the main uh, uh, bacteria infection uh, that are uh, cause uh, problematic in, in Cambodia and also antibiotic resistant. So today I'm very uh, honored to be invited to the second rapid symposium to present our research work uh, aimed to understand uh, the secretion and factor associated with extensive spectrum uh, beta lactamase producing enterobacteria uh, in Cambodia uh, using a one health approach through the FSPI Akahe project uh, funded by the French embassy. So I think uh, from this morning until now, you have uh, seen a lot of great presentation uh, regarding the problematic of AMR, so I will not repeat myself again. So, but just one important point, uh, AMR is a uh, one health driver. So we need a multi-sectoral uh, collaboration in order to uh, fight against the AMR. So this is the reason why that we um, develop uh, the first one health uh, project uh, in Cambodia to study the circulation of uh, resistant bacteria in the interface uh, between human, animal, and environment in Cambodia. Um, so the specific objective are to estimate the prevalence of antibiotic resistance due to the community infection uh, in a main hospital in uh, Phnom Penh capital city and also in uh, one provincial hospital uh, which located in uh, Badambong province in northwest uh, of uh, Cambodia. And our second objective is to study the secretion of resistant bacteria in the environment, including uh, animal, soil, food, and also water of uh, the patient included in the hospital in Badambong province. So the study was uh, subdivided into three work packages. So the work package one focused on uh, hospital. So we, uh, in, we recruit the patient uh, in the two hospitals, uh, Badambong and Kalamite Hospital. And the two hospitals that we are selected are, uh, have the capacity to, uh, to do uh, microbiology analysis. So uh, over there, we identified the, the patient with a resistant and susceptible uh, bacterial infection. And then we collect the isolate uh, from the hospital laboratory to the Pasteur tissue uh, for uh, uh, let's say a standard analysis because the two hospitals use different uh, standard for uh, anti-microbial uh, susceptibility testing. That's why we uh, collect the isolate, we do the uh, redo the uh, identification and also uh, uh, AST. So uh, for the patient in Badambong province, uh, when uh, when we recruit the patient, so there is also a questionnaire. And in the, the questionnaire, uh, uh, when the patient have an animal in their household, so we also follow the patient to their household and collect the, the sample from, from their household. So the sample that we, are collect, uh, that we collected include animal, uh, domestic animal, uh, um, and also uh, uh, food production animal. Because in Cambodia, it's special because the animal was raised within the household. And we also collect uh, uh, environmental sample, including uh, soy and water, uh, water, uh, wastewater, and also drinking water, and also food sample. 
from the household. So all the samples uh, were sent to Pasteur Institute for bacteriology analysis. So the work package three uh, is uh, sequencing analysis. So the bacteria isolate that we uh, collect from patient and also isolate from the environmental sample uh, and animal sample, uh, we will uh, we be sequenced through the, uh, with the whole genome sequencing. And also the sample, we also uh, do metagenomic in order to um, try to see if there is uh, any uh, epidemiological link uh, between the isolate. Uh, however, uh, at that moment, we, are not, we don't have uh, the capacity to do the sequencing in the Pasteur Institute uh, yet. So the, the sample was sent to uh, our collaborator uh, in France for uh, whole genome sequencing and metagenomic and also bioinformatic analysis. So for the work package one, uh, we would like to see if there are uh, different in risk factors associated with antibiotic resistance between the two hospitals. So the study was uh, started in November 2020 until December 2021. And the patient uh, were recruited uh, in the hospital. So the inclusion criteria are the patient who were hospitalized uh, for less than 48 hours because we would like to focus on uh, community infection. And age uh, 15 years old or older. And the patient have uh, blood, urine, and uh, pus, uh, positive for uh, Enterobacteria. Uh, just uh, for remark, uh, the study was focused not only for enterobacteria but for my presentation, so I am only talk about the enterobacteria. So um, we have screened 253 eligible patients. Uh, however, 24 patients were excluded because we are not able to collect the, the isolate. So um, only 229 patients were included, and the patient was uh, um, divided into a case or control. So case meaning the patient uh, present with uh, ESBL uh, producing enterobacteria, and control means the patient without uh, ESBL producing, producing enterobacteria. So we have uh, 132 case and 76 uh, control. So among the patients uh, we recruited, so 153 patients were from Calamite Hospital and 56% were case, meaning having uh, ESBL producing enterobacteria, and 76 uh, patients from uh, Badambong uh, Hospital, and 60.5% were case. So if you look at the bacteria identification and ESBL detection by uh, AST, so the majority of the bacteria uh, uh, that were isolated are E. coli and uh, club pneumonia. So uh, we isolate, oh, we have uh, 175 E. coli and of them 66% were ESBL producing. And 35 uh, club pneumonia and of them 40% uh, were uh, ESBL positive. So if we look at the uh, resistant profile of the, the bacteria uh, that we isolate, so as you can see, uh, the ESBL producing uh, bacteria were highly resistant to other antibiotics. And we, if we focus on uh, Cabapenem uh, antibiotics, so as you can see here, uh, interestingly, around... Um, Eight to nine percent of ESBL producing or non-EL producing were resistant to uh, to and the isolate remained highly susceptible to amikacin. So only four percent were resistant to uh, uh, amikacin. So among the patients that we uh, recruit, so we uh, do the questionnaire to help. Uh, uh, demographic and also clinical data. So uh, uh, between the two hospitals, uh, in Kalmet, we have uh, a little bit more uh, female than in Badambong Hospital. So 62% uh, percent were female. And in terms of uh, age range, there is no difference among the patient recruit from the two hospitals. Uh, if you look into the infection side, among the patients we recruited in uh, 
the two hospitals. So in Calamite Hospital, uh, the majority of the patients have uh, bacteremia or a urinary tract uh, infection. But in Badamong Hospital, the majority infections are uh, skin and soft tissue infection or, or intra-abdominal in infection. So we also compare uh, uh, some uh, other uh, factor between the two hospitals, like uh, in Badamong Hospital, so we have the patient uh, with a uh, high frequency of helping animals in the household. So animals such as uh, cat, dog, uh, pig, or cattle, or chicken. And in Badamong, the, the, the patient also highly exposed to antibiotics before hospitalization. Except for Kabapenemas, uh, Kabapenem, because only uh, the patient in uh, Calamite Hospital were highly exposed to uh, Kabapenem. This may be due to the limit access to Kabapenem antibiotic uh, in Cambodia. And uh, the patient in Badambong also faced uh, flooding. We also uh, do the analysis of refactor for. Um, uh, patient with ESBL bacteria uh, and non-ESBL bacteria, but we, when we use multi uh, monovariate analysis, so we find that uh, the patient with uh, chicken in the household were linked to the presence of uh, ESBL uh, producing enterobacteria. However, when we do multivariate analysis, uh, there is no, uh, the, the result is not significant. So we extend our analysis to uh, Three, uh, third generation cephalosporin resistant. So in Badambong, uh, uh, owning a cattle and also a pre exposure to fluoroquinolone will link to uh, resistant to uh, third generation cephalosporin. And in Kalmar Hospital, only how uh, a younger age will link to uh, resistant to third generation cephalosporin. So um, the study is still ongoing. So now uh, I'm going to talk about the, our primi preliminary data regarding the sequencing data that we have. So we are interested to see if there is any genetic link between uh, E. coli strain uh, that we uh, isolate from the patient and also from the environment, uh, from the household that, uh, that we visit. So um, with the sequencing data available, we have... Um, uh, 15 uh, sequence from patients, so among the 15 sequence were from a uh, certain household that we visit. So the, in the certain household, we also have the isolate from environment and also uh, the animal. So from the environment, we have uh, 88 E. coli strain uh, sequence available. And from the animal, we have uh, 49 E. coli strain available from the environment. And as you can see here, the, the, the resistant uh, that we uh, identify. So among the 15 uh, E. coli sequence that uh, uh, we identify, uh, so 11 have uh, ESBL, uh, two uh, susceptible to 3CG, uh, one resistant to Kabapenem, and the other one also uh, present ESBL and resistant to Kabapenem. And among the 66 sequence from environmental uh, sample, so we have uh, 58 uh, ESBL positive, uh, five uh, high cast, uh, and three uh, ESBL positive and also high cast. And from 39 sequence uh, from animal sample, so we have uh, 31 ESBL positive, uh, seven high cast, and one ESBL and also high cast. So a total of 120 sequence were analyzed. So uh, the genomic uh, data analysis were uh, using a bug-in flow uh, were um, performed by our collaborator in France. So if you want to know more, you can uh, access the uh, GitHub uh, uh, that our uh, bioinformatics uh, postdoc who, who work on, who, who developed this uh, uh, bug-in workflow. So the workflow, uh, we are interested to identify the antibiotic-resistant gene and also plasmid detection and uh, pen genome analysis. So from the data, we have shown that uh, in uh, all the uh, whole genome sequencing database, uh, the antibiotic resistant gene uh, identified were responsible for the phenotypic resistance. 
And only 67 of antibiotic resistant genes are on the contact uh, identified as uh, E. coli. And uh, CTXM uh, gene, which is uh, beta lactamase gene, and also OXA and NDM, cabapenemase uh, uh, resistant gene, uh, seem to be located uh, on the uh, plasmid uh, sequence. So we also would like to see if there is any epidemiological link between human, animal, and also environmental strain from the household that we visit. So we do the distance uh, analysis uh, between the resistant profile uh, that we analyze, uh, that we obtain from the uh, sequence of the isolate from uh, environment and also from the animal strain compared to the strain that we isolate from uh, the, the corresponding patient. So uh, through the analysis, uh, we observe that the animal uh, and human strain resistome are more similar uh, uh, within the household compared to uh, the environmental strain. And so we assume that there is a circulation of antibiotic resistance between human and, uh, and the animal. And probably it is caused by uh, uh, maybe the animal and, and human have the similar uh, selective pressure or uh, the animal and human are living in very close environment. And we also calculate the mean number of uh, antibiotic resistant gene identified in human, which is uh, 34.9, in animal uh, 18.13, and in the environment is 23.22. So, from the result, uh, we conclude that the level of resistance and the type of uh, determinant factor depend on the habitat, meaning between urban uh, habitat and also rural habitat. And we, uh, we observe the higher resistance level in uh, provincial hospital. And the use of antibiotic in the last six months uh, prior to hospitalization, possession, possession of uh, cattle in the household and also age uh, uh, are linked to uh, uh, the presence of antibiotic resistance. And from the whole genome sequencing data, so uh, human and animal uh, resistome are more similar to compared to uh, environmental uh, resistome. So it could be a similar uh, selection pressure, antibiotic selection pressure uh, in animal and human and different resistome in the environment. Our hypothesis is that uh, there is uh, maybe there is a wider bacteria and also a resistome uh, diversity in the environment. Thank you for your attention. So uh, last but not least, I would like to thank uh, all our collaborators, uh, also Dr. Navin, also uh, uh, one of our collaborators in this project. Yes, thank you.